In today's video, we've got three fossil hunts. First off, we're going to be hunting through a really rough storm. Then we're heading off to another beach before, in the third video, cracking open a lovely selection of ammonite fossils. Lots to look forward to today. Let's get started. As you can tell, it was a pretty intense storm and we hoped that this had brought out a lot of lovely fossils. First nodule we found is quite a nice big one and we open this up straight away. You can see all of the foam from the sea flying around all over the place. Unfortunately, there was nothing in this nodule apart from a lot of calcite. No fossils inside it though. One of the fossils we did find, but didn't break open on camera unfortunately, was this lovely calcified ammonite. I've not seen many like this really. The majority of it is just made up of pure white calcite. Looks really nice. After looking around a little bit longer, we came across this partial ammonite, being part of a much bigger one probably a Harposterus ammonite. Nothing really that's able to be salvaged from a fossil so broken as that, unfortunately. There's also this nodule with a tiny ammonite on its surface, as well as a few little shells. There's also a part of a really big fossilised branch or fossilised tree trunk. It's hard to tell which, but it looks really nice. It's got, again, a lot of calcite in this fossil. Sort of crazy paved all over the top of it. It's in a really big, heavy lump. Fossils like this are often left, or best left at the beach for us to see. Still got a lot of lovely fossils to come as well as one in a nodule that we're going to break open pretty shortly i hope you're enjoying the video so far between some of the boulders we came across this ammonite seems to just be ammonites we're finding today but at least we've come across a couple of nice ones now this is the first nice one we found really other than the calcified specimen Shares showing it there. It's perfect dactyloceros ammonite. They don't get much better than that when you just find them lying around on the beach, ready to be picked up, or in this case, trapped between a few boulders. Shea found a lovely block, or lovely multi-block of ammonites. It's got elegant tisserous ammonites all over the surface of it. It's got a piece of wood there as well. However, the most interesting fossil is that on the left with all the ammonites. It's really lovely to see, pretty piratized. This is one of the fossils we left at the beach for other people to see when they come along. Still pretty nice to observe though. One of the last fossils of this 
fossil hunt is the ammonite we're showing next. We found a few perfect ammonite nodules and decided to open one of them up before we left the beach. It's tempting to open all of them, however we just decided to open one on this occasion. see the crack around it there we have it stunning dactyliosaurus ammonite absolutely perfect that's a look at the first fossil hunt from today's video we've still got two more fossil hunts to go next up i've headed to a different beach where there's a lot of fresh shale to have a look through hopefully we get some really good fossils let's have a look I've come out fossil hunting today to have a look through all of this clay behind me. I can see there's a few fossils sticking out of it, so let's have a look and see what we can find. I've already found a little ammonite fossil, which I'll show you in just a moment. And there's quite a few other fossils dotted around in some shale slabs. We'll have a look at those too. Let's get straight into it and start having a look for some fossils. Already opened up this nice little ammonite fossil. Not the most exciting, but I've got a good feeling we're going to be finding plenty more nice fossils in today's video. You can see the imprint here where a couple of bellumnite fossils have been, the squid-like creatures. Perfect imprints, the fossils must just have been washed away. There's also several fossilised shells within the same slab. And also, there's another bellumnite fossil itself just starting to be revealed lot of fossils all just within this one slab a few nice fossils there already and at the end of the video we've got an incredible ichthyosaur paddle to show you which my dad has just finished preparing right let's have a look for some more fossils then lots of really fresh orange shale that's come down it's even taken part of a tree with it, as you can see. Oh. Does that have a fossil inside? I think almost certainly that's gonna have a lovely complete ammonite. Fingers crossed, we'll open that shortly. Wonder if there's any other nodules here that we can spot. There's this one here. Probably a bit too thin to open up. Could have something in, but very tricky. It's also another little rotten nodule there. Again, I think that's probably going to be empty. I wonder if there's any other complete nodules about. This one's quite well stuck. So there's certainly lots of broken up bits of nodule just laying around. That looks like the best one so far. I'm really excited to open it up and see if we're correct, see if it does contain a fossil or not. I haven't seen anything else too obvious so far, but it's always possible that I'll overlook something and at home you might be able to spot a fossil that I didn't see in person. Believe it or not, this was actually how the fossil was positioned. I've not moved it here. You can see how the outer edge of the Hildoceros ammonite is three-dimensional and the innermost part of the fossil is just 2D, crushed flat. A little piece of shale there, it's quite loose and eventually the tide will erode that away and the full ammonite will be revealed. It's 
to be in a bit of a bellum night next to it as well. You can just already see there how loose these fossils are. They fall out really easily. That's a nice little piece to leave there for someone else to see. I also couldn't believe it, but on this slab as well, there is the most intact bellum night that we've seen so far. This is one of the best bellum nights actually I've seen in quite some time in general. It's completely preserved, lots of little shells next to it. It's got part of the fragma cone, which is covered in pyrite clusters. That is a really, really lovely example of one of the fossilised squid-like creatures. That is great. really nice and it was genuinely sat here like this it's another fossil that's just stuck in this clay it's unbelievable picks up this other smaller ammonite nodule it's been quite well eroded as you can see there is a nodule in this shot that i've just spotted i'm going to pan across and see if you can identify which rock has an ammonite fossil inside. Give you a few moments to have a good look. I'll get a bit closer to narrow down whereabouts the fossil is. You might have guessed it, but the fossil is in this nodule down here. If we get a bit closer, you can see right there, a bit of an ammonite. Hard to tell just from looking from the top of the nodule, but when we get closer down, you can see it. Look at that lovely golden edge. That should have a really nice pyritic ammonite preserved inside it. There's an ammonite imprint. Fossil itself has gone. Maybe someone else found it before us, or maybe the sea has just opened it up. But either way, pretty nice imprint there. Shows that there's still plenty of fossils around to be found. Let's see if we can find a couple more, and then we'll open up the nodules that we've already got. The only other fossil that I've come across is this one that I've just spotted sat down in this rock pool. There's another fossil sat in the shingle here for you to try and see where it is. fossil right here. Lovely little ammonite with a little bit of a fossilised shell preserved next to it. Unbelievably, just about when I'd given up looking for any more nodules on the beach, I've just come across a really large nodule stuck down in the clay. I'll show you it, see if you can spot it. And we're almost certainly going to have to use our hammer and chisel to extract this fossil from the clay. It was a pretty difficult fossil to spot where it was at first. Let's see if you can see where this one is though. Should have had plenty of practice by now looking for other fossils. 
fossils throughout this video. Somewhere just around here is a nice big ammonite nodule which is stuck inside the clay. You might think it's that nodule over there, but it's actually this nodule over here. Looking closely at it, it's only when you get right up to it that you can see that crisp edge of the lovely ammonite fossil. It's completely stuck down into this clay. It's probably why it's never been found before. Here we go. nodule is completely intact. This could be something really special. Now that we've got the fossil released from the clay, let's open it up straight away. I can't wait to see what's inside. Let's open it up. The way it's split, I've been able to see what's inside already. You're not going to believe this at all. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is superb. Just the thing that was literally stuck here. That really is a fantastic ammonite fossil. I'm so pleased with it. You barely need any preparation whatsoever. It's complete all the way to the center. Should go back together perfectly as well. Great. That's all of the fossils that we're going to be finding today. Let's head home and have a look at that special fossil at the end of the video. Can't wait to show you it. We're back home now and time to have a look at that fossil that we've been mentioning. Today we're going to be having a look at this ichthyosaur flipper or paddle, which we found very recently. My dad has just finished preparing it. It's an almost complete articulated paddle. Really like the way he's prepared it to be sat on top of the shale. There's also a little vertebra over at this side of the shale. Unfortunately, this was all that we found. There was no other sign of any other part of the creature. Of course, we're still over the moon to come home with something like this. The day I found this, we'd only really found one or two small ammonites. I couldn't believe, just as I was about to leave the beach, finding this. What a stunning piece. Here's a few photos of some close-ups of the paddle.
In the third part of today's video, me and Shay are going to be opening up a wide selection of really intriguing ammonite nodules. Let's hope that we get some really good fossils out of these. In this video, me, my dad and Shay are going to be cracking open a selection of really exciting, really promising looking nodules. Hopefully they contain a variety of fossils. Ammonites would be nice, but hopefully something else. Let's get straight into it and watch the first nodule get opened up. Looking for the nodules takes quite some time. However, when me and Shay are out together, we can often find quite a few nice fossils. Piles like this of ammonites are really, really uncommon. Never usually find anything like that. Here's a couple of ammonites that we opened already. Shea's going to wash off this one and we'll see a stunning Dactyloceros inside. Fingers crossed we get some fossils like this today. And if we just pick it up, because it's still stuck in the mud. Oh wow, we can actually see a, a really nice keel of an ammonite. I think we should uh, crack this open. And, should uh, we crack it open now? Yeah, let's go for it. Put our safety glasses on. Are we ready? Wow, it's almost fully exposed, just over half of it. We revealed the majority of that specimen with the hammer. However, we took it home to prepare the rest of it with the tools. Let's open up the next nodule. Oh, I can actually see something starting to show. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's certainly one of our favourite ammonite openings lately. Even after many, many hours of searching, we don't tend to find any fossils like that. With that specimen in particular, we'll be able to polish the outer shell to give a golden appearance. Now my dad is going to open this large nodule. It looks like there's some sort of poorly preserved Hildoceros ammonite inside. Let's see if there's anything 3D within. Wow, that's incredible. We really didn't expect that to contain anything 3D, just thought it was all going to be crushed. With that specimen, we decided to open it with the hammer because it looked like it was going to be completely crushed inside and spending a few hours trying to prepare it would probably not have been in our best interests given we have lots of other projects ongoing at the same time. Now that we know that specimen is fully preserved inside in 3D, we can repair the outer edge of one of the whorls which was slightly damaged when we opened it and a beautiful, perfect specimen will be ready for display. It looks like one of those weird shaped ones where there's going to be a, yeah. a calcite through the middle. It's really odd. Oh, and I was right. Oh. <laughs> Calcite running straight through the middle. It's almost as if you'd done this before. <laughs> oh, it does look pretty cool. Looks almost like a little geode. But it's not what we're looking for, is it? Unfortunately not. Need another big ammonite. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 
car for a second i thought it could have been a couple of nodules there which were basically completely empty in fact the majority of nodules that we do open up are completely empty with nothing inside whatsoever we do still have some ammonites to be revealed from within some nodules let's open some more up give it another bit of a whack it looks like there's a there's a weakness in the rock there where it's oh it's exciting i was quite gentle with it i don't want to blow it up Ooh. are you ready yeah Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's actually it's really nice, isn't it? A little bit distorted where, due to the preservation in the middle, but it's nice clean split for what it is. It's nice when you put it back together and you can just see a little bit of the, the Alanite tees in you. Awesome. Did a good job there. Yeah, I tried my best. Okay, we've got a split. Oh wow, that's amazing. A 185 million year old fossil. I'm really excited to see how this one splits. And it's already started to crack. A few more taps on this side. Okay, so we revealed the first section of ammonite. Lovely. Whoa. It's a really nice one. Looks like there's a little ammonite just over there as well. It's a huge one. Good job. Should we wash it in the water, get rid of the dust? Okay. Colours on that are amazing. And the mouth border goes all the way to here. So it's a really nice size specimen. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. That's all of the nodules opened up now. If you would like to open up some nodules yourself at home, please check out our Instagram page or our website, yorkshirefossils.net. Thanks in advance for supporting the page if you do decide to. My brother, myself and my dad really appreciate it. Helps a heck of a lot with our preparation work. Thanks for watching. I'll play a scenery clip just to end off the video and we will see you in the next one.